Oil pollution has already done incalculable damage to the Niger Delta environment and the people continue to destroy it more with plastic. To put an end to this, this team is here to educate people on the dangers of plastic to the environment. The convener, Dr. Newton Jubano, with the United Nations, says it is important to educate the people that it is possible to recycle plastics. This is why they are reaching out to the people in the Anoja South local government area of Delta State. The people are also rewarded once they keep their surroundings clean. Bread is news of bringing some kind of awareness. As you must have noticed, we have been giving some stipends, reward to houses that have kept their compound very clean and environmentally friendly as a way of extending the awareness drive as a way of extending the sensitization of the people. If we if we go on the way we are and the community continue to respond the way they are responding, especially today, that amount. In fact, the chairman has also promised that he may even up that amount. The Environmental Tax Force also say this exercise is to encourage people to keep their environment clean and to enable healthy living conditions. When it comes to pollution, we are trying our best. My officers go around and make sure that the premises are being taken care of and the defaulters will take them to court. We have a mobile court that prosecute defaulters. And that was why when you went around now you see the, that a lot of them are really keying into the sanitation, keeping their premises clean because they know that if they don't do it, the mobile court will come and capture them and they will take them to court and they will pay some fine. The government hopes the people of Delta State will pay their taxes to help with environmental sanitation and also recycle plastics to reduce pollution. Since they are fault, I, I should think our people, they've not been by that spirit of, they want government to do everything for them. So when you now say somebody, when you ask someone to pay stipends for his, his, his refuse to be evacuated, they see it as if you're uh, trying to take advantage of them. It has been a problem and because it's not an open local government to say, uh, so we just try to maintain that relationship and do more of uh, sensitizing. Jemima Bloco, Arise News, Delta.